what are some of the common myths that you see? Do you have any favorite ones? One of my favorite ones is that you won't encounter anything that you don't believe in. Um, oh, oh, that one drives me nuts. Yeah, well, I'm just about the most naive person on the planet, and when I got into uh, really delving into spiritual aspect of things, that that's really what I believed. Uh, you know, I, I honestly believed that there was nothing malefic out there, that everything was beneficial, everything was love and light, and it's just all beautiful, and, you know, it is. There is a, a beautiful aspect of it, but uh, it's, it's dangerous to think that there's not anything out there malefic just because you don't believe in it. Um, you know, I don't like to believe in, in greed and, and anger and, and crumbs of hatred, but they exist every day. And it's the same way on the psychic plane, um, on the spiritual plane. There are just as many uh, variety of energies out there as you would find right here in the, in the waking, walking life. Oh yeah, I totally agree. I don't know why people are of the opinion that, okay, well, we have all kinds of people, and there are evil people in the world, and there are unpleasant people and mean people and cruel people, but, you know, if it's, if it's not physical, then it's all love and light and kindness. I mean, I, I do get where the concept comes from to a point in that some of the less pleasant astral kind of energies do feed off of fear and yucky emotion and so if you are full of fear then that does make it bigger but boy it's about as effective as closing your eyes and hoping the serial killer won't see you yeah. as far as not acknowledging that you know that's there one, one of my big ones in terms of myths, the one, one of the ones that drives me crazy is I don't need spiritual protection because I have guides, angels, spirits, God will protect me and to me, that is akin to saying, I don't need brakes because I have airbags. <laughs> yeah, I, that's true. I, that, I just think it's rude. It is. And, and you know, there are energies out there that are meant to protect you. Um, there are things, uh, you know, your spiritual gods, your, your guardian angels, God, you, the divine, all of that, you know, is out there. But you've got to take accountability for your own part in it and can't completely rely on that. For one thing, you, you need to ask for help. You, you need to you know, ask for that guidance, ask for that protection. But you've got to be aware that just because you do have uh, guardian angels or, or spirits that, that do guide and protect you, that there's still risk involved. There's still, you know, the the fact that these things are out there. Oh, I, I absolutely agree. And I think that you brought up a really important point in terms of you need to ask for help. I mean, because basically the whole universe almost runs on free will. And we, we do have a certain amount of innate spiritual protection, but the thing is, is a lot of times um, you're not going to necessarily get it unless it's an extreme situation if you're not asking for it. You know, yeah, they'll step in and bail your butt out if need be, but most of the time, really, it's, you know, we're grown-ups for the most part. <laughs> we're, we're doing what we need to do. We need to take responsibility for our own well-being overall. The myth that I hear pretty commonly is, um, oh, well, I used to do this work in a former life, so I don't need it. Well, did, does that mean you didn't have to learn how to drive a car because you used to do it in a former life? I mean, that that's nonsensical and kind of arrogant sounding to me. It is. It, it is. And arrogance, um, and I kind of refer to it as justification or, you know, it's something along those lines. But to your, to your car analogy, which I'm really starting to dig now, um, it, your car does have brakes. But if you don't use them, they're not going to do you a lot of good. And it's... Ooh. it's it's the same thing uh, when you're doing any time, type of spiritual work. If you don't employ those practices that will protect you, it's not going to be a lot. Of, it's not going to do you a lot of good. Um, if you have the tools, you should use them. And I really, really wish. And you and I have talked about this before. Um, that I would have been a little bit more receptive to that type of thing because I was the type of person that believed, you know, that everything was love and light, and, and it was nothing but a 
but an enhancing experience. And you know, I kind of learned the hard way, but that's not necessarily true. And it's it's all about everyone having a good, safe experience.